living in zero dimensions, or correctly, living at the point, to come to the point, the zero, the point and the zero, the moving into focus and the out of focus, the point and nothingness, being and nothingness, to be or not to be. See, if we're living at a point, then we can see nothing. Intellectually, it's easier to think of it the other way around, and, you know, experientially. So you start, let's start with nothing, nothing nothingness. So the idea of nothing, of nothingness, gives the idea of limitlessness. Limitlessness. And because we've got that idea of nothingness and limitlessness, we have the idea of consciousness, of light, limitless light that we can see, that we can understand, that we can be aware of. The limitless light of the nothingness, the clear light of the void. The cosmos, the nothingness and the being, the cosmic spirit, the shining self that transcends the void. The knower. The self. This is the realm of the self. The zero is like love, like they have in tennis. We're all the point, so there is no separation. There has never been any separation. We're all at that first point, the very first point in mind, the very first point. We're all there as one. Because that's the thing, isn't it, about nothingness, is there is only one nothingness. So this is the mystical unity in the nothingness. So we come to the point. Now the point is in mind, is in that ocean of nothingness. So the point is imaginary, is I, the square root of my minus one. So living in zero dimensions is using your imagination. Living in zero dimensions is stopping your imagination. Stopping imagination. Stopping the projection of what you of the vision and this is the essential thing of this nothingness of this point this zero this is our common nature our collective nature that we cannot be divided up from or separated from the circle and the point is the is a cow and optic the breast entoptic, the signal entoptic, the natural functioning of consciousness to focus on a point, to get to the point. The point in a sense is that we don't die alone, we all die together. When you die there's everybody there everybody, all. Zero and the point is the transpersonal self, the self that hasn't chosen an avatar, hasn't projected an image, hasn't entered the body and become an ego. So this is the collective experience this is why it's the experience of youth, the experience of nihilism. 
of the festival, of the collective experience, the ego loss of the collective experience at the festival, the collective festival of the people in the revolution. Now this collective festival has been hijacked by preachers of hate, by preachers of division. You see, the collective experience is the religion, the rejoining. But we have false religions. False religions divide. They wage war and kill. Thou shalt not kill. It is clear. Thou shalt not kill the in infidel. Thou shalt stop this onward Christian sh soldiers killing. It's got to stop. Stop the war. Stop the division. Stop the bullshit. So you see this living in the void, living in zero dimensions, coming to the point is there is no division. There is no division. There is no Christians and Muslims. So this is coming to the point, coming to the point of having a shared vision, a village, a planet, a Venus project, a unity of purpose based on humanity, equal rights and justice, and allowing the spirit none of this dogmatic atheism, this anti-spiritual teaching, which is also evil and nihilistic and destructive and of isolationary. Even atheists must return to the self. Even an atheist must die and with the rest of us and not die alone as they think. Even atheists will be reborn in this Sanatana Dharma. The important thing is this is the imagination. This is the imagination show. We don't want to imagine divisions. We don't want to imagine that killing people with drones over there is right. Because it isn't. We know in our hearts it isn't right. That these corporate monsters, you see the corporate denies our individual connection with the whole and makes us subservient to these false gods of the Queen or of some crucified saviour or of some last prophet. But what we need is living gurus, a living unity, a real devotion, a real freeing of man and womankind, real equality, real liberation, real respect building the kingdom of heaven on earth. This is the vision that we want. This is getting to the point. This is living in zero dimensions.